Hi there, my name is Nick Dutch. And it's been suggested to me via private message that I check out something on the internet called the Midnight Game. So, I've typed the phrase into Google and this is the first page which came up. It says here, the Midnight Game instructions. The Midnight Game is an old pagan ritual used mainly as a punishment for those who have broken the laws of a, of a pagan religion. I disbelieve that. Just wants to let you know I disbelieve that. Okay. While it's mainly used as a scare tactic to not disobey the gods, there is still a very real chance of death to those who play the midnight game. I also disbelieve that. There's an even higher chance of permanent mental scarring. I do think that is a hypothetical possibility, so be careful. It is highly recommended that you do not play the midnight game. And of course, the instructions follow. So, scary stuff, you could die, you could drive you mad, <laughs> don't do it, but here's the instructions. Why not just don't do it? Look, like, like, we've heard of people who've had like bad things happen to them, so just don't do it. You know what I mean? Just don't do it. Hey, presto, you know, boom. Like, don't bother. Just don't even look into it, man. You know, it's like bad. But no, they give the instructions. Right, okay. Brilliant. That's so intelligent, I must say. No, they, they're just being nasty, aren't they? They're being stupid. They're being stupid. Okay, let's carry on. However, there are those thrill seekers searching for a rush off those delving into obscure occult rituals. These are the simple instructions on how to play. Do so at your own risk. It just sounds like a B movie, doesn't it? It just sounds like something from a B movie you would watch, like on the horror channel at about one in the morning, um, when you've had far too much caffeine, so you can't get to sleep, but your brain isn't quite functioning properly, and you've been just like living on chocolates all day, and so you're like malnourished and buzzing as well, and your brain and body just ain't working right, and you're in the mood to be scared because you're in that kind of like, state of mind. You know, that's the, it. Just sounds such like such a bad movie, really, doesn't it? Okay, prerequisites. There must be exactly 12 midnight when you begin performing the ritual, otherwise it will not work. You know what I think of the phrase, it works, don't you? Hmm? The materials required include a candle, a wooden door, at least one drop of your own blood, a piece of paper, matches or a lighter, and salt. If you are playing with multiple people, they will all need to own the aforementioned materials and will have to perform the steps below separately. Number one, write your full name first, middle and last on a piece of paper and put at least one drop of your blood on the same paper. Allow it to soak in. They've really enjoyed writing the words to this crap, haven't they? Number two, turn off all the lights in the house. Go to your door and place the paper with your name in front of it. Take the candle and light it. Afterwards, place the candle on top of the paper with your name. Number three. Knock on your own door 22 times. The hour must be 12 midnight upon the final knock. Then open the door. Blow out the candle and close the door. You have just allowed the midnight man into your house. Yeah, right, okay. <clears throat> Again, this whole thing is written just like that, you know, um, you know, the Bloody Mary type thing, you know what I mean? It's, it's written to be evocative and to be scary, and it's basically the script or an idea for a really, really, really bad movie, isn't it? You know, it's like Blair Witchcraft, Witch Project, uh, for adolescence kind of thing. It's, oh dear. 
Step 4. Immediately relight the candle. This is where the game begins. You must now look around your completely dark house with the lit candle in hand. Your goal is to avoid the Midnight Man at all costs until exactly 3.33am. So wait a second, this is like an ancient pagan ritual, okay, an ancient real pagan occult ritual, and it's ancient, right, and so like in ancient pagan times, like thousands of years ago, they had digital watches that were accurate down to the last second, yeah, right, of course, yeah, right, okay. It's got to be precisely 3.33 a.m., otherwise everything bad will happen, <laughs> everything terrible is going to happen, if you leave it one minute early, yeah. Yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, right. No, no, no. Bullshit! Stupidity! Lies! That's what it is, eh? Huh? It goes on here. Should your candle ever go out, it's because the Midnight Man is near you. Ha ha ha! Or maybe it's because you're in a draft, basically, you know, I mean, you could be in a draft, you know, or maybe, you know, just like, you bashed a candle by mistake, you know, lots of reasons your candle could go out, it's not because the Midnight Man is near you. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. You must relight the candle within the next ten seconds. God, I, you know, it's, it's just amazing that in ancient pagan times they had, like, watches that were that accurate and, like, would start um, the time, the moment that a candle would go out. Whoops, your candle's going out. Bam, there we go. Mm. One, two, three. I mean, uh, oh. This whole thing is psychological masochism or sadomasochism. The person who wrote it was a sadist. People who do it, they're, like, masochists and slightly mental. It's just bad. Oh, if you're unsuccessful in relighting the candle, you must immediately surround yourself with a circle of salt. Yes, a circle of salt. Yes, keep the spirits out, it will. Yes. Mm. Ah. I mean, ugh. This, is, this is like irritating and annoying, basically, isn't it? If you are unsuccessful in both of these, the Midnight Man will induce a hallucination of your greatest fear until 3.33 a.m. <laughs> if you are successful in realizing the candle, you may proceed. If you are successful in creating a circle of sort, you must remain within the circle until 3.33 a.m. So one thing, of course, they, they haven't mentioned... Um, in like the list of ingredients sort of thing for the this spell or ritual is um, something to go for a piss in if you need to when you're inside your circle of salt and you're dying to go for a piss I mean that's you know something they haven't really mentioned there but obviously it's something you should bear in mind on something you know with a lid in case you need to do a number two as well basically just to uh, make sure your circle of salt is big enough and you've got you know you just do it in your bathroom, really. Just, do, just make sure if your candle goes out, it happens in the bathroom. Stay in the bathroom until 3.33 a.m. Mm. You might as well just have your coffee machine installed, your kettle installed in the bathroom, okay? Um, until 3.33. Uh, with all your tea and um, dry powdered milk and sugar. And doing it in your bathroom, not a problem. Nice and comfortable. Have the radio one. Brilliant. Radio. Yeah. Do it in your bathroom with a radio, okay? That means you can urinate, you can defecate, you can enjoy some cool music, all right? You can drink tea if you want to because you bought your kettle or plenty of water, okay? So, you know, that that's fine. And you can do your circle of salt in the bathroom. Actually, around the toilet area, sort of like, sprinkle the salt over the cistern, you know, and, and around the, the edge of the sink, that'll be fine, yeah, you know. That's great. And of course have a little clock because obviously in ancient pagan times they had very accurate clocks that would uh, measure the precise minutes and seconds and so on and so forth. So you'd have to have a very accurate um, digital clock inside your, your circle of salt. You might as well just like do your circle of salt in the bathroom and just chill out. Actually put, put your mattress in the bathroom. Right. 
you know, once you've relit your candle, gone into your house, your midnight man's come in, okay, straight to the bathroom, do your circle of salt, sit down, chill out, put the radio on, um, open yourself up a couple of cans of beer. Right, there you go. Um, and just uh, have yourself a party for 3 hours and 33 minutes in the bathroom, um, surrounded by a circle of salt and your candle. Yeah, wicked. Sorted. That's, that's, that's how you should play it, you know, that, that'd be wonderful. Hmm. Tuesday, you must continue until 3.33 a.m. without being attacked by the Midnight Man or being trapped within the Circle of Salt to win the Midnight Game. Well, don't worry about winning then. The Midnight Man will leave at 3.33 a.m. and you'll be safe to proceed with your morning. Well, actually, no, you won't be safe to proceed with your morning because you'll be knackered because you've been up from midnight to 3.33 a.m. <sighs> you'll be knackered the next day. Staying in one spot... The entire game will only result in the Midnight Man finding you. Well, who says? It's dark, he can't see. Well, you can probably see by the light of your candle. But on the other hand, you could move from one spot to the next spot, okay? So you could, like, step from one part of the room to the other part of the room. Um, just move around a bit. Or being trapped within a circle of salt... Where does it say? What does it say next? It's highly advised you continue moving throughout the game. Doesn't say why though, does it? Do not turn on any lights during the midnight game. Do not use a flashlight during the midnight game. Do not go to sleep during the midnight game. Do not use another person's blood on your name. Do not use a lighter to substitute for a candle. It will not work. And definitely do not attempt to provoke the midnight man in any way. That's all. Have fun. So, what it isn't saying is... Um, don't have your TV on. So if you've got a little miniature TV, you can take that into the bathroom with you, couldn't you? With all your beer and your tea and your coffee and your kettle and everything else. With all your circle of salt and you start hop around from sitting on the bath, sitting beside the sink to sitting beside the toilet. And then your midnight man won't be able to harm you at all. Um, you'll be staying within your circle of salt, so everything will be fine. Okay, you wouldn't win the game. You know, you wouldn't win the game. But on the other hand, who gives a fuck? You know, what, what would you win? You know, what you would win would be no salt on your carpets. Alright, that's really the only thing that you could possibly win anyway in this entire midnight game. So, yeah, I think it's bloody stupid, really. Um, yeah. Okay, that's, that's all of me trying to make this thing light-hearted. What about if someone did take this thing seriously? What would happen to them? They could seriously scare themselves shitless. Okay. Um, it's, it would be a bit like doing a dark mirror experiment, or doing a bit, or doing a um, a ghost hunting thing in a place which isn't haunted, but you think it's haunted. That's all. It will just scare you, rigid. Um, people who are more prone to insanity will go completely insane. All right. Uh, people who've had a, you know, maybe a history of some forms of drugs or whatever, will go bonkers and will. Some of them won't be able to come back from it. Um, yeah, it's just a very scary, stupid thing to do. Uh, why would anyone want to bother? I, I, I don't see the merit. Um, at all. One could adjust this to be used for attempts at spiritualism. You could try and create a story whereby, you know, you're... You know, the spirit of your great-great-grandfather will come to you between midnight and 3.33 on the basis of you call, I don't know, calling his name when you go in the door and relight the candle or something like that. Okay, you could use that as the basis of a form of spiritualism. But is it necessarily um, useful in any way whatsoever in its current form? Bottom line, no. It isn't. But... It's curious. Definitely curious. Sleep tight. <laughs>